Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to Gal. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create four different effects used in popular music videos. My hope is that it will inspire ideas on ways you can be creative with your own music video edits. And since I can't use music from these videos due to copyright, I'll be using music from Soundstripe. And I reached out to Soundstripe and they sponsored this video. With Soundstripe, for less than $15 a month, you can get unlimited music for any type of video from commercial to personal projects. So if you're making a wedding video, a tutorial, a corporate ad, or a training video, it all costs the same. The music is super easy to find with their advanced search tools, and better yet, you can search and license music directly in Premiere Pro with their Soundstripe panel. I'd encourage you all to try out Soundstripe for your next video. You can sign up with the link in my description and get 10% off with my code GAL10. Thanks Soundstripe for sponsoring, now let's get back into the video. For the first effect from Rap Monster's video, I'm using the Silhouette Dancer clip from Envato. If you want to learn how to turn yourself or anyone into a silhouette, I have a tutorial on how to do this with your own green screen. First, let's press the Option key and drag and drop the video clip on Video Layer 2 to duplicate it. Then from Effect Controls, let's scale the layer up to 120%, and let's move the horizontal position to around 1780. Then let's reduce the opacity to 40%. Now let's duplicate it again to video layer 3, and let's increase the scale to 140% this time. And then we'll move the horizontal position again to around 1620. And let's duplicate it one more time to video layer 4, and let's increase the scale to 180%, and let's move the horizontal position to around 1470. And now we can play it back and you can see we have this nice layered opacity effect that kind of looks like duplicated shadows. For the second effect from Lose You To Love Me, you can use multiple clips of any singer, mid shots, close ups, and then layer them together to create many emotions. To replicate this effect, I'm using two different clips of the singer I found from Envato. On video layer 1, I'll put the mid shot, and on video layer 2, I'll put the close up. Now we're going to go to the wrench tool and we're going to expand all tracks and also make sure that video keyframes are on so we can keyframe the opacity. You will see that this white line displayed on both the tracks is the opacity control. So now I'm going to stagger the second clip so it starts a bit later than the beginning of the first video clip on video layer 1. Now I'm going to right click on the beginning of the top layer on video layer 2 and apply a default cross dissolve by right clicking. Now on the clip on video layer 2 I'm going to select this opacity line and bring it down to around 60% so it's more transparent. Then at about 2 seconds I'm going to press P for the pen tool to create a keyframe on the opacity line on video layer 1 and 2. Then I'm going to move the playhead to about a second later, and I'll add another keyframe. And for the top layer, video 2, I'm going to increase the opacity to 100, and on the bottom, I will decrease it down to 0. So now we can play it back and see how it looks. So now as we play it back, you can see the opacity change and the clips blend together, like in Selena Gomez's music video. And then again, we can keyframe to lower the opacity on the top layer on video layer 2 and then raise the opacity on the bottom layer back up to 100. If you make the distance between the two keyframes longer, then the cross dissolve will have a longer duration and the two clips will be blended together for a longer period of time. You can of course add more layers on top of this for more moods and effects, but I just wanted to illustrate how simple it is to keyframe opacity in your timeline. The next effect is a VHS look as seen in Coldplay's video Orphans. Throughout the video, they crop the videos to many different sizes, so what I'm about to show you can be applied to any size that you like. In my most recent tutorial, I break down step by step how to produce a VHS distortion and RGB split using built-in tools in Premiere. So watch that full tutorial in a card up above and link below to learn how to create that effect. But for now, I'm going to show you how to add a mask to make it look like it's coming from a TV or have a different frame size. Here in my sequence, I have the VHS effect. You can see I have several layers. So what you need to do to make this easier is first lasso and select all the layers and then right click to nest it. Now all the layers are nested within this one layer. 
Now I'm going to scale this down to around 70% from the effect controls. Then underneath opacity, I'm going to use the pen tool to draw a rectangle with curved edges. To do this, I'm going to click to make the first point, but I'm gonna click and hold so it will be a curved edge. Then again, I'm going to click and hold in another corner to make a curved edge. And then once again, and then I'm going to click to close it off. Then underneath feather, I'm going to increase it from 10 to 30. Then we're going to click back in the timeline to see the final result. To make any adjustments, click back on the mask from effect controls and you can tweak the points further until it looks right. And that's how you create a mask to create different sized video frames for your next music video. Lastly, but certainly not least, lyric videos. In the Chain Smokers video closer, you can see that the handwritten text is large and animates in and out in a shaky way, almost like it's wiggling. To create this effect, I use this awesome template called Lyrics Template and Elements from Envato Elements, and you can use it in After Effects. So you can turn off any composition here just by clicking the eye icon, and then you can double click on any composition you want to edit until you are able to edit the text. So I'm going to use the song Never Let Go by My Buddy Bike and Jesse Villa. So from each text layer, I'm going to type in the lyrics from the song. Then once I do that, I'm going to change the font to a handwritten font that I like called Million Notes. And I'll link to that in the description box below. It's a free font. And then I'll quickly do the same to the two other lyrical lines, which are in the other compositions. Then from the main composition here, you can place any video you like. I'm just going to drop in some stock video. And then here is the result with just those three lines. And of course you can edit more compositions to finish the lyrics of the full song. Take me back to the nights we felt alive Picking up the pieces on a summer night I didn't know that I would feel just like my heart's on fire Whenever I'm with you so I really love using templates like this because it saves so much time. You don't have to do any animating. It's all done for you. You just have to edit the content. Again, this template is from Envato Elements and I've linked to it below. Envato Elements has lots of other templates you can use, not just this one. So I'd highly recommend it. So those are the effects for this video. If you found these effects useful, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if it reaches 5,000 likes, then I know you want more content like this. And also don't forget to check out Soundstripe. Use my code GAL10 to get 10% off unlimited music for all your videos. That's it for this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.